right? I'll do one slice, one half slice, one half dice. I'm going to cut the core out at a 45 degree angle. I'm just trying to waste as little of the onion as opposed to going straight down and cutting it all out. With the grain of the onion, uh, 180 degrees, I'm going to use a forward slicing motion. When I hit this middle point, it would be awkward to lean so far over, no need. Forward flip. <laughs> Start again. All right, sliced onions, good for salad and such. The dice, all right, we've all had to go medium, small, small, medium, large dice. Every rest, most recipes sometimes have it. Um, so, with this core in the onion, I repeat, the core in the onion saves a lot of time and a lot of tears. We're gonna do straight cuts towards the core, but not going through the core. I'm going about 90%. 95% oh, so to the the book. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Couple of cuts on the parallel to the cutting board. Make sure that your handle oh, is so away simple. from the board so you can actually get parallel. And then this is just to catch the side pieces that aren't into a slice yet. Everything's kind of mostly together. There'll be some pieces. Save them off to the side. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right, maybe that piece right there in the end. Right. Yeah. Diced onions quick and fast, all right? None of this. All right, you've probably <laughs> done that and seen this pool of water that ends up on your board too. That's all flavor and moisture lost into your food, so. Um, so today we're doing, um, this is gonna be one of, whoever's on this station right here, we're gonna do two different squashes. Um, they're going to be kind of of a time element to get into the oven because squash takes a little time. It's a very dense vegetable. I'm going to show you now, please. I don't know who's going to be on that station yet, but I will be over there too. What I'm going to do to this, I have to cut it into two sections, the wider section. And then cut the bottom off. And then with the tip of my knife, you're going to lose a lot more flesh if you use this portion of your knife as opposed to this. So... some of this it's it's a very I think you need to cut up a, like, maybe double the layer of a peeler oh. All right. and then there's gonna be these seeds inside okay. either one oh. cut evenly because it's got so many contours and but whenever you roast we're always trying to get down to a similar size so that it all cooks pretty evenly all right so because we're limited on a little bit of time and eating we want to have as much time for you to eat we're going to go back to the station and start cooking all right so 